Building Automation Systems, BAS, are designed to automate and optimize the operation of heating, ventilation, air conditioning, HVAC, lighting, and other critical building functions. However, there are situations where operators or technicians override the system's automated logic to manually control specific equipment or settings. Imagine if a well-intentioned technician overrides a system to troubleshoot an issue. Days later, a fire occurs, and the smoke evacuation fans never turn on, causing a safety hazard, costly damage, and legal consequences. These small mistakes can lead to massive failures. Overrides can be beneficial for troubleshooting, maintenance, or emergency responses, but they also introduce risks if not managed properly. This video explores the concept of overrides, their purpose, advantages, disadvantages, and real-world examples of override-related failures. First, we'll give you some real-world examples where problems can arise. Real-world examples of override-related failures. The following are real-world scenarios where improper overrides have caused serious problems. Boiler override left in off causes a frozen air handler coil. Scenario. A technician manually overrides a boiler to off for maintenance but forgets to reset it. Consequence. The hot water coil in the air handler freezes overnight due to sub-zero temperatures. Result. The coil bursts, leading to flooding, expensive repairs, and loss of heating for the building. Chiller override set to off during summer, causing tenant complaints. Scenario. A chiller was manually overridden to off to investigate a minor refrigerant leak. Consequence. The override was left in place, preventing cooling in a high-rise office. Result. Tenants complained about excessive heat leading to business disruptions and reputation damage. Exhaust fan override set to off in a parking garage during carbon monoxide buildup. Scenario. A technician disabled an exhaust fan in an underground garage while checking the motor. Consequence. The override was not removed and CO sensors were overridden as well. Result. Dangerous carbon monoxide levels built up, triggering emergency evacuation and regulatory fines. Smoke evacuation override disabled, resulting in a fire safety violation. Scenario. A fire safety system's smoke exhaust fan was manually overridden to off during testing. Consequence. A fire later occurred in the building, and the fan did not activate. Result. Life-threatening conditions and severe legal liability for the building owner. Humidifier override set to on, causing mold growth. Scenario, a humidifier was manually set to on for a cold storage area but not reset. Consequence, excessive humidity led to mold formation in ductwork and walls. Result, expensive remediation and potential health risks to occupants. Demand control ventilation override set to off, causing poor indoor air quality and excessive energy use. Scenario, a building's demand control ventilation, DCV system, was manually overridden to off to troubleshoot a sensor issue, but the override was never removed. Consequence. Without DCV, CO2 levels gradually increased due to a lack of fresh air, making employees sluggish and uncomfortable. Alternatively, excessive ventilation could lead to unnecessary energy consumption. Result. Poor indoor air quality, IAQ, reduced worker productivity, and higher energy bills due to inefficient HVAC operation. Definition of override in a building automation system. An override in a BAS refers to the manual or system-driven action that forces a device, equipment, or set point into a specific state, bypassing the automated control logic. Overrides can be applied at different levels. Manual override. A technician forces an equipment state via the BAS interface or controller. Software override. The system locks a specific control point, preventing normal automation. Hardware override. Physical switches or relays force equipment on, off, regardless of automation. Time-limited override. A temporary setting that automatically resets after a predefined period. Emergency override. 
A system-driven override triggered by fire alarms, smoke detection, or life safety conditions. Purpose of Overrides Overrides serve several key functions in building automation. Maintenance and troubleshooting Allows testing and diagnosis of individual equipment without automation interference. Emergency Situations Ensures critical systems, such as smoke evacuation fans or fire suppression, operate regardless of the control logic. Occupant Comfort Adjustments Temporarily modifies set points to accommodate specific user needs. Commissioning and Calibration Used to verify system responses during initial setup or post-maintenance. Energy Management and Load Shedding Overrides can help reduce energy costs by temporarily disabling non-essential loads. Advantages of Overrides When used properly, overrides provide several benefits. Immediate Equipment Control Technicians can manually operate systems when automation is malfunctioning. Enhanced Safety and Emergency Response Overrides ensure life safety systems function when needed. Facilitates maintenance and testing. Helps technicians isolate and troubleshoot faulty components. Provides flexibility for special conditions. Adjustments can be made for specific events or unique situations. Energy cost reduction. Overrides help implement demand response strategies to reduce peak energy consumption. Disadvantages and risks of overrides. Despite their usefulness, improper use of overrides can lead to serious operational problems. Forgotten overrides leading to system failures. Overrides left in place can cause unintended consequences, such as frozen coils or overheating. Bypassing safety mechanisms. Overriding alarms, safeties, or critical sensors can introduce safety hazards, such as turning off smoke evacuation fans. Equipment damage. Forcing equipment. On-off, outside of its normal operation sequence can lead to mechanical failure or excessive wear. Energy waste and inefficiency. Overrides that prevent normal energy-saving automation can increase operating costs. Conflicting commands. Multiple overrides applied to interconnected systems can cause operational conflicts. Best practices for override management. To prevent override-related failures, the following best practices should be implemented. Use overrides only when necessary. Avoid casual overrides. Use them strictly for troubleshooting, maintenance, or emergencies. Set expiration timers. Use automatic reversion so overrides reset after a predefined period. Implement logging and alerts. Track all overrides in the building automation system and alert operators of prolonged or unsafe overrides. Train facility staff. Ensure all personnel understand when, why, and how to properly use overrides. Regularly audit overrides. Conduct periodic system audits to identify and remove forgotten overrides. Overrides in a building automation system are a necessary tool for technicians, facility managers, and emergency responders. However, improper use or forgotten overrides can lead to equipment failures, energy waste, safety hazards, and legal liabilities. By implementing override management best practices, facilities can maximize the benefits while minimizing risks, ensuring efficient, safe, and cost-effective building operations. Have you ever encountered a building automation system override that caused unexpected issues? Share your experience in the comments below. We'd love to hear your insights and lessons learned. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.